In today's video, we are going to take a look at the Euro USD. I'm going to give you guys an update on this one and also show you why I think we could see another 150 pips of downside here for the Euro. And we're also going to take a look at the US dollar index, the DXY, so you can trade any major currency pair with confidence. Okay, so kicking things off here with the daily time frame, looking at the Euro USD. Obviously, the market has been in a very aggressive downtrend ever since back here in July. And if you've seen my recent videos and posts, you know that I was bearish on the Euro this entire time. In fact, even back here, I was bearish on the Euro talking about that 40 year trend line. So if you saw those videos, you were on the right side of this market. And even back here on this candle on August 10th, you can look back on the blog, but I did say that the Euro USD could be the short trade of the year. And so far that has played out incredibly well. Okay, so I've been on the right side of this market, you know, ever since back here, ever since this high. And so far we have seen a very aggressive correction here from the Euro. Now, looking at today's price action, obviously the market is blowing right through this support level around 1.052. So you can see back here, we do have some closing prices around here. We've also got this low and these lows a little bit higher up. So really, if the Euro USD closes below this area today, this area flips to resistance and we're looking at a further decline potentially down here toward 1.043 to 1.044 and potentially even 1.0355. Now, I'm fully anticipating the move down there toward those levels. The big question is, though, where does today close? And do we get a retest up here in this area before we get that rotation lower? And obviously, nobody knows where the market's going to go. But I do like the idea, though, of looking for shorts here on the euro if it does close below this area today. Now, let me show you why I have these levels marked here on my chart before we take a look at the DXY. And by the way, if you are enjoying this content, be sure to smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon for notifications. And don't forget too to sign up to our free Telegram group. I will put a link up here in the top of this video and also in the description. Okay, so 1.044, you can see that going back here, uh, once again, daily time frame. you can see we've got these highs here and also these lows. So this is gonna be an area. It's not gonna be exact potentially, um, but it is going to be an area of support here for the Euro. And ultimately I'm looking for a move down here toward these lows and also this high. Now it got very choppy through here, but if you'll notice on the weekly time frame, okay, this area right around 1.0355 is going to be significant for the Euro USD because looking here at the weekly time frame, right, going back here, you can see that we did have these two lows, this high right here, and then notice where these two weeks struggled, right? We got the big wick up here, close back below, close above that level, and then new support the following week. Okay, so both of these levels are going to be significant for the euro on the way down. Now, let's take a look at the DXY and see if we can find some uh, confluence between the two markets here. And for the DXY, obviously, we have an incredible uptrend that's materialized since the swing low down here. And once again, if you've seen recent videos, I have talked about this every step of the way. This reclaim back here was bullish. The reclaim back here was also bullish. That was the June low. We had the reclaim there and then also the reclaim through here was also bullish. That was that confluence of what was resistance and eventually flipped to support. Okay, so all of this was bullish for the dollar and I talked about all of it um, right here on YouTube. And so right now we do have the dollar trading um, right here between this range. Okay, so 105.60 and 107.70. This area down here is now a must hold support area. All right, so right down here. However, I would be surprised if we got a retest down here before higher and resistance is going to come in up here around 107.70. Now, this is going to be a big test for the dollar because you can see we've got the lows back here and then also that high right around 107.70. Now, you could make a case for a minor level right through here. So if we take a look at this, right, these highs right back in here. And, and again, this is going to be an area. It could be 107. It could be a little bit higher or lower. Um, but essentially, looking at these highs through this area, right? This is also going to be a resistance level on the way up, but 107.70 is going to be the one to watch. Now, if you've seen recent videos, and I talked about this when the market was reclaiming this area down here around 103, and I definitely mentioned this to members over and over again, um, and that is that the DXY, in my opinion, right, is likely headed up here toward this pivot somewhere around 109 to 110. Because looking at the weekly right here, right, you can see that we do have a pivot right through here. Okay, so we've got these highs and we've also got these lows. Now that's also a key fib area. So I do think that ultimately, even if we see that the dollar rotate lower from here, which we're likely to see, you know, some type of pullback, 
but I do think that eventually we're looking at that move up toward 109 to 110. So still a lot of room for the dollar to run higher here as long as it continues to make higher highs and higher lows. And as far as how that translates to the euro, once again, um, just kind of summarizing here to wrap things up, you can see where, once again, this is going to be the key level that I'm going to be focused on today. So right around 105.20 right here. And then we've also got this pivot right down here around 104.40 or so, and then also 1.0355. Okay, so all of these are going to be ones to watch. Again, it closed below this area today. This area flips to resistance, and we likely get that rotation lower. All right, that's it for today's video. Once again, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click that bell icon for notifications. And don't forget to sign up to our free Telegram group. Once you're comfortable there, you can upgrade to the VIP group where you can get my trades in real time. All right, everyone, trade well this week, and I will talk to you again tomorrow.